Lawyers of Reddit, what was the least defendable case ever brought to you? Probably my client charged with statutory rape, multiple counts, who impregnated his high school sweetheart's daughter after having sex with said daughter from the ages of 13 to 15. He was 35 at the time of the birth. DNA in the form of a baby is strong evidence for the state. A woman wanted me to sue her previous lawyer for charging her a lot of money, but producing almost no work to justify his fees. She gave me what she told me was the lawyer's total work product, a page printed off the internet for which she said she was charged thousands of dollars for legal advice. She had already brought a claim via my jurisdiction's disciplinary body for lawyers. She had lost and wanted to bring an appeal. The judgment kept referring to documents that I hadn't seen. I pushed her to give me everything, and she came in with multiple files full of immaculate legal work that totally justified the fee she was fighting. We told her to get lost, but she wasted a lot of my time before we realized she was full of shit. I had a client who won just shy of a 7 figure settlement in a personal injury case. She then dropped into my office to ask me to file a fee dispute against the attorney who represented her in the personal injury action. That attorney took a little over $260,000 on this case. If you're doing the math at home, this guy took a 27% fee on the type of case where 40% fees are common. Did a fucking fantastic job because the woman got nearly a million dollars and then she turned around and tried to sue him to recover any of his fees. I rejected the case out of hand and then got an ethics complaint for discriminating against her. This guy murdered his father then during the trial he sent death threats to his mother. A friend of mine was in a case where a guy was accused for graffiti vandalism, among other things, and the conversation with the judge went like this. Judge, sir, did you make this graffiti? Defendant, no, I did not. J, but it has your signature at the end. D, yes, an artist has to sign his work. Case closed. Worked in house for a famous character company with a large fan base. A few crazes a year call in. A guy called in claiming that we stole characters that he created and demanded to be compensated. I calmly ask them to provide more details so I can determine whether this has any merit to it. He states he designed the characters himself and gave it to the well-known actual creator when he was a kid and the creator pawned them off as his own. I asked him when he was born and it's a good 20 years after these characters were actually created. I ask him to explain this and he pivots and says he also created some other well-known famous characters and brands. Characters and brands that are not owned by my company. I kindly ask that if he wants to pursue anything to send us something in writing and hang up. I figured if he wasn't going to do some really basic research on his own claim, he wasn't going to spend any time to write it up. Never heard from him again. My dad had a client who was on trial for being a felon in possession of firearms, possession of stolen property, burglary, and distribution of narcotics. Guy had multiple pictures of himself on Facebook holding guns, drugs, and cash, and had videos of himself both breaking into someone's house and stealing a gun as well as selling crack on several occasions. Despite my dad basically telling the genius he was going to prison either way and to plead out for a reduced sentence, dude still pleaded not guilty. We still occasionally joke that the guy clearly wasn't competent to stand trial by virtue of being so dumb. She lived on a large riverfront block. She had a jetty for a boat. Her large tree fell over in storm and landed mostly in the water and making it difficult to moor her boat. She wanted to sue the government for not taking away her fallen tree. I represented a tree trimming company that went to the wrong address and cut down all the mature trees in that yard. The right address was 100 North XXXX Street and the company went to 100 South XXXX Street and just went straight at it, hacking away. I still have no idea why the insurance company didn't just settle that one presute. Not a lawyer, I was a jailer and used to pull double duty as a bailiff. 
a guy stole a pickup truck and was later captured passed out behind the wheel, parked on a sidewalk surrounded by a ludicrous amount of drugs and guns. His legal defense? He elected to represent himself because he wasn't done being stupid, double jeopardy, you can't charge me for theft, drugs, and felon in possession of a weapon because I've already been convicted all of those charges before. In short, during his jury trial he admitted to doing it, but explained with a smug grin that since he had already done time for the same charges from another case before, that he could not be prosecuted for them ever again. This is not how double jeopardy works folks. He's in prison for 20 years now. If he'd taken legal counsel he cold easily cut a deal for 5. My dad's lawyer hated divorce and custody cases because he always gets the stupid clients. 1. Wife wanted everything in the divorce. Her boyfriend sent a video to her husband that showed the wife and boyfriend having sex in her husband's house. Wife, clearly at fault, still wanted everything. She didn't get anything and was charged with adultery. Husband celebrated by having a banana split. One pointer, I messed up his one. The charge with adultery happened in my home country of the Philippines. Wife was caught banging a neighbor and her husband took her to court, where she would be charged with adultery by the local court. 2. Wife wanted custody of her kids, and she was actually winning, until she drove to her husband's place, drunk as a skunk, and threatening to kill him if he didn't withdraw from the case. Also, she forgot to mention to her lawyer that she was on antipsychotics. 3. Guy wanted custody of his kids, but had a rap sheet a mile long along with a history of domestic abuse and threatening people in the internet. Judge tried to give him a chance, but he fucked that when he posted a tirade on his facebook on how he'll curb stomp his kids because their mother deserved it. 4. Woman was going to lose custody of her daughter, so she threatened to cut off her lawyer's balls if he didn't win. She said this right in front of the judge. 5. Ex-husband denied stalking his ex-wife and putting poop in her mailbox. His social media account says otherwise. He even took selfies with his ex in the background, not knowing the guy who wasn't supposed to be near was near her. 6. Husband wanted a divorce. He was cheating on his wife and concocted a plan to have her be seduced by another guy. Another guy takes her and they both fall in love for real. Guy fesses up and husband is the one getting served divorce papers. 7. My dad's divorce with his first wife. Was this for her, the first wife? Basically dad's lawyer took any and all evidence and it was discovered she was f***ing men while husband was at work and it was known her husband, my dad, can't have kids, but she was 5 months pregnant, everyone thought she was just fat when the proceedings started. Dad's lawyer also pretty much got my dad everything, anything in his house is his, and the only thing she got were the clothes in her closet. She couldn't have the grand piano, the fur coats, the jewelry, or even any of the wedding gifts. First wife and her boyfriend tried to break into the house, but dad had house it as he paid with the stuff they wanted. Dad also had to pay her money during the proceedings, it was like $30 to $50 a week, but his lawyer said not to pay that. Friend of mine told me he had to defend someone who assaulted his wife, she called the cops. He assaulted them too, and when he went in court he tells the judge he wants to kill them. He's probably assaulting some cellmates at this time. I haven't had anything too spectacular, but I've had a couple of clumsy civil fraud cases that I withdrew from. Both involved defendants who forged documents, but didn't understand metadata. For instance, I can right click this added PDF text to view its properties. It indicates that the text was added 6 weeks after the document was supposed to have been submitted in completed form. The other side will ask about this. What's our response? Ah. If you enjoyed the stories, slap the like and subscribe button for more of them. And don't forget to support the original writers with an upvote. Links are in the description. Peace out, and catch you tomorrow.